Hello creative people, welcome back to another brand new photoshop tutorial by Mr. Abhi. In this video, I am going to show you how to design a professional infographic in Adobe Photoshop CC. So guys, we have a great tutorial for today, so let's get started and have some fun. Go to file and new to create a new document with the size you need. Now create a circle and put it in the middle. Now right click on the layer and go to blending option. Check bevel and emboss. The style is inner bevel. The technique is chisel hard. Make the depth 1000% and the size you need. Now go to gradient overlay and create your gradient. I am using the color from flatuacolor.com. Just choose the color you want then copy the hexa code. Now go to photoshop and paste the color code. Now hold alter and drag the circle to make a copy of it. Press ctrl plus t to transform the circle. Now drag a straight line. Now drag another small circle. We are going to pick the color from the big circles after changing the gradient color. Now double click on the effects and change the gradient color from all the circles one by one. Now select all shapes and press ctrl plus G to group from layers. Now select the rounded rectangle. Make the fill none and the stroke solid color. Now draw a rectangle and change the radius you want.
copy the color code from the line and paste it on the rounded rectangle. Now hold alter and drag to make a copy of it. Then move the rectangle. We are using it just to make lines. We will mask out other parts later. Now add layer mask to all the rectangles. Now select the parts and use your foreground and background color to mask out. As my foreground color is black, I am using alter plus delete to mask out. Now hold alter and make copies of it. Now right click on the shape layer and go to blending option, then use drop shadow from here. Now hold alter and drag drop shadow to other layers. Now import the icons inside of photoshop. Then drag the icon on the shape and transform the size and position. Now right click on the layer and go to blending option. Now use color overlay and drop shadow.
Now hold Alter and drag the effects. Now continue the steps for other icons. Now type out your text. I am using Unison's bold font for this project. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up to my video. Also subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you. See you next time. Till then, have some fun.